Here I am trying out uh, two fans. The Vulcan is at the front using a Sterling engine. This is very pretty to look at. With the Eco fan at the rear, it's the 812. And it's up on a clear view Vision 500. Let me look at the temperature at the moment. It's just over 500. 550 Fahrenheit. The Eco fan is dead quiet. The Vulcan, you may be able to hear the sound, it's a little bit noisier. Not a lot. It took me a little while, I had the Vulcan sat on the rear to start with, but I think it's more efficient if it's sat at the front where the hottest part of the stove is, because its, um, it's speed is regulated by the heat, whereas the Eco fan runs at a very low temperature and maintains its maximum output up to sort of a safe operating temperature on mine. I, I normally go to about 550 Fahrenheit, but that I go at its maximum speed right down to about 150 Fahrenheit, 200 Fahrenheit. But this one needs at least, I think it's 300, before you can start to get it going. And you have to start it manually as well. The Eco fan will just carry on going once it hits the temperature. Much larger fan on the Vulcan. It's just the temperature's actually rising, it's almost up to uh, 550 now. I'm just burning some logs in there. Haven't got a hottie in. Interesting design. So let's see if we can get the paper test. Just a piece of newspaper, nothing uh, nothing scientific about this really, but Eco fan. You can see it's pushing a little bit of air there. If I move it in front of the Sterling note, now I've got it at the front of the stove, you can really see that's pushing a lot more air than the Eco fan. See it go flat there. And there's a little bit of movement from the eco fan. The downside is that obviously we're, I'm burning at quite a high temperature at the moment. That's going to drop back down. I normally refuel at about 350, 400, and by then the Vulcan fan has slowed down dramatically. Where the eco just keeps on going. Just to show you the speed, and that is almost at 550. Very pretty uh, mechanism. Really like these fans, no electric. Just heat generated. Definitely do move the air around the room. Uh, I've got a thermometer in the in the corner, which is the coldest part of the room. Without the fans, 
it always remained quite cold, but with the fans, you can definitely tell it's moving the air. It's definitely a lot warmer in there. Clear view, or just if I kill that, you'll see the flames instantly die down. I see the secondary burn there. That was instant. As soon as you touch the controls on the clear view, it responds. Vulcan fan and the Eco 812 or 812.